Hi everybody. It's Crafty Pig Leg. I'm Cra <laughs> Crafty Jackie here. Um, oh, I am so tired. My leg is throbbing because I know it's swollen. So as soon as I do my haul, I am going to lay down for a while. And then I'm going to go get my hair cut. Because I want it nice for Christmas and Christmas is only, what, three weeks away. So I'm going to go. I have to wash my hair and massage. Ugh. And then cut my hair. Now, a bunch of I bought a bunch of food items and they are out in the kitchen already. Mainly because since I'm not doing this here, lugging around, people are doing it for me and they're just putting crap everywhere. So I hope you'll bear with me on that one. But um, I found a lot of different things and excuse me. Um, I got a lot of little, as I call them, whatnot Christmas gifts. Great, you should pass out some toilet paper. And, uh, so, and you might want to, excuse me. Okay, we're back. They were having a conversation about toilet paper in the background. I thought maybe I should have her shut the door. This is very, very shaky on here, so I hope we don't fall. But anyway, let me get started with my haul. I bought a bunch of, as I said, little small gifts for people because I buy, you know, little gifts and then they get a gift card. So, um, I just started doing, I, I have stuff bought already that I've been buying, but, uh, anyway. So, I got these for my daughter Becky. Her favorite color is blue and she loves these thick socks and I thought just to kind of lay around the house, these would be nice. Snuggadoos. Okay, I got th and this stuff in these bags is just crazy in here. I got some almond extract. This is imitation, but it doesn't matter. I don't use it that much, but I totally was out, and I do use it during the holidays sometimes. Um, I bought this book that I thoroughly intend to look at tonight. It is Diabetes 911. Hopefully. Ron will read it too, but I'm not going to hold my breath. This I bought uh, to put back for my daughter. I'm not sure. Um, she loves giraffes, and it says, live your life in color. So, But I had already bought her a different one, so I'm not sure if I'll give her this for a birthday or another time or what. But anyway, um, I bought peed my pants because I found these today, and... Uh, I grabbed two of them, one to wear and one to decorate the back behind me where I always record because uh, I want to be festive. Yeah. So, and I, I believe you've all seen them. Um, there's a thing you got to pull out and everything, but they just blink. Various, they can be steady or they blink, you know. Uh, this I bought for my daughter Becky's dog Cooper for Christmas. That's his little Christmas present from his cousins, Bandit and Biscuit. And he's black and white, so I thought the red would look real cute on him. And I probably will get him either a treat or a toy. Probably get him a treat. Let's see. Uh, I, I got another one of these. This one is for myself. I needed a new notebook. My other one is just totally filled. And, uh, this is the kind I like in my purse with all the lines and stuff. So, this one says, When you reduce life to black and white, you miss the rainbow. So true. Okay, I got this. And it, I'm not going to show you what these do, but that's for uh, Bandit. And I got this, which isn't stuffed. It's a ball in there. And there's no filling in it anywhere, so... Hopefully this one will last a bit longer, although some of them last a while. Uh, Ron picked these up for himself. Well, you're going to have to wait a minute, dude. Uh, they're copper-colored um, paper clips. And uh, I think because he's getting on the bed, I may have to put some things back today. My daughter this morning at 7.15 texted me because she went into work, started work at 6.00. And said, are these the things you've been looking for? 
<laughs> I was so excited I couldn't stand myself. I got two of them. One for me. Because you know we stay at our camper all summer. Although it's not this kind of a camper. But, um, and the other is for my girlfriend, my friend at, at Yogi, uh, Mary. And I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Probably some candies or something. I don't know. But I was extremely excited about this. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? And I have this which I've never seen anybody else haul. Oh, this one has some paper on it. I'll have to get it off. Ron, Ron was doing picking for me sometimes, so, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway. And it has a little thing in here, but I can't get it out. He picked one and can't even get it out at all. Oh, well. Anyway, it. I'll have to pull this thing on it. But it's a, um, uh, it lights up. Hopefully it'll light up. So that's all in this bag. And we're going to put these things back so that the little doggy dog don't get a hold of them. Right. Hold on a minute, Mr. Bud. I'll tell you what, with this foot like this, my life is so complicated. I mean, complicated, with the capital K. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Let me get this little. Okay. In my next bag, I got, um, these are multi-purpose pouches, and you can put uh, earbuds in them and your cables and whatever. And you can hang on, you know, it's for, you could use it for travel. Um, I bought two blue and a gray. A blue and a gray. Oh, excuse me. Bandit. A blue and a gray for my grandson, um, my grandsons, Ethan and Liam, because they live together. And then I got one for uh, my other grandson that lives here. I thought that would be nice so they don't have earbuds or whatever laying all over the place. Um, I got some, uh, I didn't buy these. Ron, Ron must have bought these Andy's Mints. And I did get two of these, the last two they had, because I love these so much, the Butter Rum Life Savers. Yeah. They had the Christmas flavors and stuff, but that's my favorite. That was ones my mom always had. Um, I saw uh, Mrs. Cotton Candy Starting Life uh, haul these. Hi, honey, how are you? And I didn't think we'd get them here, but we did. Bandit, will you please find a spot and quit nosing? Sit down. Oh, it's not good. So I got a bag of the snowmen and the Santas. And she said they actually tasted pretty good too. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. But I might just put them in a candy dish. And these are the uh, yeah, those gingerbread men and the Christmas tree. Okay, I bought 30 mini candy canes for a project I'm doing for church. I'm going to make uh, spoons dipped in chocolate. Uh, they're like hot chocolate stirs. And then you, uh, while they're still, you know, right if you dip them, you sprinkle crushed uh, candy cane on them or put little mini marshmallows on them, which are in the kitchen. I bought a bag of them too. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to make those and then, like, put two in a bag, two or three in a bag to sell, for us to sell for a cookie walk next week. Um, I picked this up for my daughter, Becky. I'm going to find a picture of them and print it off. It says, Family Always and Forever, and clip it on here for her. So i got to find a good picture of them. And I keep buying this and stocking up on it, the uh, cane sugar. It's like we're being seasick here because the dog is not going to let up. He's going to wander around sniffing every single solitary thing that I bought. <sighs> I definitely need a nap. Ron bought some spiked eggnog yesterday. I probably need some of that too. All right. 
Now, I bought two more of these. I try to buy two every time I go. I go, uh, and somebody had a whole box of them again, but I missed out. But I want them for my um, closet. Um, these are for my treat bag in here for when I'm all by myself so I actually have something to eat because lots of times they leave me without any breakfast or anything. Um, I found one of these and I'm assuming it works. I'm going to pull the thing. Yeah. That looks real pretty. That's going to be in my living room. And um, I looked at the red ones, but honestly, you couldn't hardly see anything. It didn't show. So I opted for the gold. And I got a tube of toothpaste. All right. Sorry about all that. If I don't do that, though, the dog will be in the bags. Okay, we have two dogs here now, Bandit and Biscuit. And the smaller water dishes are just not big enough, so I bought a big one. So hopefully that will eliminate some of our watering issues. All right. I bought myself a present, a new Jeeves, Jeeves and the Wedding Bells. I don't know if any of you have ever read Jeeves. It's a, an English um, author author. This is an homage to P.J. Woodhouse, Woodhouse by Sebastian Falks. Um, that's who was the original um, author was P.J. Woodhouse. But, um, may, excuse me, maybe this one will be as funny. I don't know. But I hope so. But they're funny. The originals are funny books. Jeeves and the Wedding Bells. I was excited to see that. Okay, I bought two. I had a hunt everywhere, and these were on the end cap. Two bags of treat bags. I got some Santas. And they have ties that go around them like that. And I got some gingerbread milk. And these will be for the uh, cookie walk. I'm going to put like two spoons in each bag. I don't know. How many to put in a bag to sell? I'll have to call, talk to somebody. But uh, I think two would be enough. And then I'm also going to make homemade dog cookies. And uh, I'll have 20 bags of those, too. Uh, these are for the... Uh, to dip the, into the chocolate. They did not have any red, but clear is okay. And I got... A flashlight and batteries for one grandson and in another bag is a flashlight and these are the batteries for it and for another grandson auto glass cleaner this is for my daughter's uh, boy boyfriend he got a brand new truck back in the uh, summer so this is for his one of his little gifts What are you eating? Oh my god, he's got pistachio nuts from me. It's a miracle I'm not nuttier than a March hair at this point. Now, this I got for one of my grandchildren. Somebody else hauled this. I don't remember who though. But I thought this was the coolest thing for a kid of his age. He's only seven and a half. He'll be eight. It is a stylus, a pen, a ruler, a level, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. It's a MacGyver tool. He loves stuff like this. Um, I got three packages of these, one for each grandson, for their screens of their iPads or whatever they have. Ron is sicker than dog, so we're going through them like crazy. I did not ever see anyone haul these. I don't know if they did or not, but I never saw me. It's like stationary. 
It says, hello you, and it has decorated, uh, what do you can see, they're light, but they're decorated sheets. Um, I think I'll give this to my granddaughter, Tori, because her boyfriend is in the service. I don't know if she writes him letters or not, but she loves stationary stuff, so I thought she might like this. Bought this for my bedroom closet. I, uh, Ron had to have this. He's like hooked on these composition books. This I bought for my grandson, uh, Liam, one of his little gifts. It's DreamWorks, Find What's Wacky Dragons. And I, you know, it's like, you look at the picture and you find in the other picture the things that are wrong or different. I don't know. I always like this kind of stuff. I thought he might. I don't know. Just thinking he might. Okay. I actually spent $93, but um, I said there was quite a bit of food, too, that's in there. Um, this is the other flashlight. Uh, I got this one for my youngest grandson. because he's He likes camping, and this is a flashlight and a camping light. And it has them. It already had batteries. It has those. Uh, oh, no, it uses double batteries. Oh, I'll get him the double batteries. Uh, these I bought for myself. Aren't those pretty? I like them. A lot. And these I bought for myself. Yes. To keep my hair back. And I'm going to wear them all together with a tag on it. What do you think? You like it? I think it's cool. Yes. And I found this. Somebody else showed these. Isn't that the prettiest thing you ever saw? It looks very uh, Regency. Yeah, I love it. Not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I do love it. Um, I got a pair of white Christmas socks with those on them. And that's probably all the Christmas socks I'll get this year because I, I add two or three pair every year. I got like 50 gazillion pair. Um, I have this. This is also the wheel and tire cleaner uh, for that her boyfriend. And I got him this uh, vent clip. It's in Pacific Rain. I mean, if a guy just got a new truck, when do you think he'd want all kind of stuff for his truck? I wanted to get those like chamois things. Actually, I wanted one for, and I've bought a million of them in the past, but I'll have to look again. Uh, I wanted to get one for my, and make like a little tree skirt for my white tree. But they didn't have any, uh, and I could have got him one or two for his, you know, truck. But these I got for myself. I never have seen them there. They're disposable cleansing wash cloths. And they use these in the hospital, like if you're, you know, on bed rest and you can't get out of bed. And uh, sometimes they'll microwave the whole packet and bring it to you and you wipe off them. So since I'm kind of not able to shower right now, I've been using all kind of wipes and stuff. But these will be so much nicer. I cannot, cannot wait to take a really nice shower. Uh, these are for Bandit's um, stocking. And Ron wanted this. And this bag is ripped. What else is it? So, we're going to have to try to fix that up somehow. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow, we're going to sing. The choir is going to sing a song. We're having a hanging of the greens tomorrow. And uh, after they 
during the service, we put some of the stuff on the tree. And then after the service, they finished decorating uh, the sanctuary and everything in the church. And uh, while they're doing that, fire is going to be practicing the cantata or something. And then uh, we're having a soup luncheon. Then we have to take all our things to our um, deacon friends. Those are the shut-ins. We have to take. We have three people. We have to take in. Take four. Okay, I think I have one more bag here. Uh, yeah, so there's some stuff missing because I noticed I don't see one thing here. Uh, these are for the car. Aren't those festive? And these are the other two bags. And the, uh, there's the other light. Things. And here's only one more of these, so there's one missing somewhere. And I got this for crafts. Yes. Which you will be seeing soon. Ron told me, he says, I, if you're buying any more craft stuff, you're crazy. You got so much stuff now and you're not even using it. I said, oh, but I will. I will. Very soon. I said, but I agree with you. I don't really need anything. Unless there's something like really phenomenal that I know I'll never see it again. I'm not going to get anything. Um, and as I said... We have two, uh, we have the cookie walk, so um, I'm planning on making a 9 by 13 pan of my fantasy fudge, and then um, I bought two of these to put uh, cookies in. Uh, last year, a woman came and bought like a whole container, you know, instead of just picking out a few. So I figured if I put them in cute containers, if that's what they want to do, they can It'll be a nice container. Like, if they want to take cookies to... I know some lady bought, like, all kinds of stuff. Just whole boxes full because she was having something. So, yeah. So, that is my haul. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys, for bearing with me, putting up with me. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes they feel like I'm such a, a nitwit. But I love you a long time. I want you to stay crafty, and very soon I will too. Bye, guys. Have a great day.